Hello everyone, uh, my name is Gino Morturno and having for well, quite a number of years now uh, taught both Italian and Film Studies here at the ANU, uh, I've been asked uh, in fact to present to you the way in which the ANU is uh, trying to contribute uh, to this year's Italian Language in the World Week. Each year the Italian government through its embassy and other offices proposes a certain theme for a week of activities aimed at promoting and spreading the Italian language throughout the world. And the theme that was chosen for this year is l'italiano al cinema, l'italiano nel cinema, Italian at the cinema, Italian in the cinema. Chifley Library has chosen to contribute to this with an online guide that highlights the library's holdings of relevant materials. On the one hand, Given that, by definition, the Italian language is present in all Italian films as such, this suggests a consideration of Italian cinema as a whole. This is, of course, a huge area, but is very well covered in the library's holdings, both in terms of the film themselves, well, the library has an extensive collection of Italian films, and in terms of books covering the history and all the major developments, the figures and the general aspects of Italian cinema. But this is, as I say, a huge area. So the guide attempts to divide holdings according to different historical periods, beginning with the silent period, and yes, the Italian language is present in some films. Uh, then the early sound period, which in Italy is also, of course, the fascist era. The immediate post-Second uh, World War era, and the rebirth of Italian cinema under the aegis of neorealism something of a second golden age of Italian cinema during the 60s to the mid 70s after which indeed it did suffer something of a decline and then coming back from this decline there was what was generally called the new Italian cinema of the 1990s and then of course the most recent films of the new millennium and as you can see the guide actually uh, breaks things up in this way so as to cover the entire history of uh, Italian cinema. The guide then addresses the specific issue of how the Italian language itself appears and functions in Italian films over the years through a variety of studies and analysis which look at, for example, how language was controlled in the cinema during the fascist period. The guide then also points to analyses and studies of other linguistic aspects of the Italian cinema, namely dubbing, then screenwriting, and uh, a section also on subtitling. From its beginnings, Italian cinema also engaged in a process of adapting all the major and minor Italian literary works for the big screen. And so the guide points to the library's holdings relating to this uh, very extensive process of adaptation. And of course, a lot of works, a lot of literary works were also adopted for television. And the guide includes this uh, in its literature, cinema and television section. Crucially though, implicit in the theme of Italian in the cinema, and undoubtedly in the aims of the Italian language in the World Week, is the potential use of Italian films to actually teach the Italian language to non-Italian speakers. For many years now, Italian language teachers have sought to exploit the linguistic side of Italian films for pedagogical purposes. And in more recent years, this has resulted in a host of teaching and learning materials, many of which are used here at the ANU and which the Library Guide also points to. Well, structured in this way then, this online guide should make it easier for students, for teachers, and indeed for anyone interested to exploit the library's considerable resources for activities relating to the theme of this year's Italian language in the World Week. Best of all, the compilers of the guide have added a menu that will allow you practically at the click of a mouse to bring up a list of every Italian film held by the library. So that should make for lots of happy viewing.